Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I'm King Sports Information Director Travis Chell here with men's basketball assistant coach JT Blair. How are you doing today, JT? All right. All right, coming off a of one game last week, a win at Limestone, 82-76. Kind of a good way to go into a break, that you know, a week-long break without a game. Um, can you kind of tell us what happened in that game and what you did well? Oh, yeah, we knew coming out of Christmas break uh, that these first four conference games were going to be big for us. And, and to, to close out Limestone the way we did, you know, kind of faltered down the stretch, let them get back in it. But, uh, you know, any, any time you can – String four conference wins together with uh, three of them on the road. You know you can't you can't be too you know unhappy about that. So it really was you know we found a way to to pull out a close game even though uh, you know we kind of blew a lead there at the end. Yeah, with that extra week off per se, you know no game on Saturday. What do you do with that extra time? You give the top team a little bit of time off to relax and recover it per se. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's one of the few <coughs> Saturdays they've had off, and you know since we got rolling and. You know, we really got after it uh, when we got back from Christmas break. So, you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, even that day off uh, was beneficial because we had a really, really good practice yesterday, um, and you know, hopefully they had a chance to, you know, clear their minds, get refreshed, get focused on school, um, and uh, hopefully it'll pay dividends. Yeah, hopefully. Um, Came in at Christmas break four and eight, and then since then you mentioned you went four and all, all in conference play. What has kind of changed? Did that break kind of change things up, and the mentality of the team change a little bit, or what, what's the big, biggest change <laughs> since then? Oh, uh, well, I think it's a number of things. We do have a lot of young guys, or a lot of guys that are new to the roles they're in, and I think uh, you know some of the young guys are getting more confident, um, you know, figuring out, adjusting to the game, um, and, and then. I think people are figuring out where they can help, what they can do to, uh, you know, uh, give the team a boost or, or provide some offense, provide some defense. And you know, when we got back from Christmas break, we had a lot of time to to really work on, you know, King and what we wanted to do better offensively, defensively, what our expectations were for them. And I think we had a better understanding. I think it's shown through. We still got a ways to go, but uh, you know, it's it's been. Uh, very encouraging to see um, you know, the work we put in after Christmas is, is you know, paid off. Yeah, and by looking at the stats, um, you're also shooting better over 50% in those four games, and you can, there's like four different scores you can go to that are averaging in double figures. Yeah, you know, that's one of the strengths when we looked at the team. You know, we, we had the depth of talent was pretty good. We have a lot of guys that have the ability to put the ball in the basket, and, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, it makes us hard to guard at times, and then you know maybe someone's not not shooting it well. We have other guys that can, um, you know, and, and it makes us you know difficult to guard. I think, and, and you know when when everybody's going, you know, it's usually a fun night for us. Yeah, yeah you mentioned the young guys earlier. A couple of them, in Hunter Lavo and C.J. Good, who've kind of transitioned into starters as freshmen. Um, how have they developed this year throughout the year, and are they feeling more comfortable and playing a little better now here after the break? Well, I mean, they they both been great. Um, you know, I think, you know, CJ. I think uh, at first, you know, he, he's one of the best shooters I've ever seen. And I think, you know, for whatever reason, maybe confidence was lacking, or, or you know, he wasn't sure if he'd get some shots off. But something's clicked for him, uh, and he's he just looks like a whole new person, and, and it's been huge for us. And then Hunter, um, I've never seen you know. Doesn't get nervous, you know. For a young guy, he's made big plays, big shots. Um, you know, he you know plays hard for us. I think he's our leading rebounder and, and uh, I think leading scorer too. And, and uh, you know, he, he's you know, he's just a tough, tough guy. He's a warrior, and, and uh, you know, it's you never really know how much you know what what's going to happen with a freshman or someone new coming in, how they're going to adjust to a system, but. They've both been great fits, and, and uh, you know I'm excited to see what they do with the rest of their careers. Yeah, it should be should be fun to see the next few years. Uh, looking forward here this week, home on Tuesday against Belmont Abbey. Um, should be a good game here at the Student Center, and then go to Lee McCray on Saturday, in which is King's only conference loss and a chance to avenge that loss. Yeah, um, you know Belmont Abbey is is another you know good team. They got I mean. Uh, there, there's no bad team in our league. Uh, anybody can beat anybody, and, and uh, if you don't play well, you got a great chance of losing. Um, 
know, so we, we're getting prepared, getting ready, you know, for, for, you know, what we expect to be another fight. And, and uh, you know, we're going to have to play well to get it done. And then, you know, I think, uh, you know, Lee McCray got us here. And I think, uh, you know, I think our guys won't forget that. And hopefully we can, uh, you know, come back ready to go up there, up in the mountains and, and, and get it done. But, you know, it's one of those things. You know, with two conference games a week, you know you're in for two fights if, if you don't do what you need to do. And, and so we, you know, we're trying to get prepared and, and fully expect that we're going to have to play our best to, to come away with two wins this week as well. Yeah, that game at um, Tuesday gets going at 7.30 here in the Student Center if you want to come on out. Um, thank you, Coach, and good luck this week. Thank you.